Hello everyone, good day everyone. You welcome to my kitchen, Osasasa's kitchen. In today's video, we are going to be making Nigeria stew, authentic Nigeria stew. That is what we are making today. In here, I have all the ingredients that I'm using, so I'm going to be introducing them one after the other. So here I have my mixed spices, as you can see. I have some dry onions here. I have shallots. I have nutmeg, and I have curry powder. In here I have one and a half onions. I have seasoning cubes. I have my homemade ginger and garlic paste. The reason why I'm using one and a half onions, small like this, because I have dry onions inside my meat spices so i have shaki i have tomato paste here too small size you can use any one of your choice we have a lot in the shop so i have goat meat also i have my cow tea i have cow tea I have chicken, I have fresh chicken, you can see it's, it, it's, it's with the egg, so it's very, very fresh. If you cannot get live chicken, as I've said before, you can have any one of your choice. So you can use any protein of your choice. I have some salt to taste. I have my vegetable oil also. This one is corn oil. You can use any vegetable oil of your choice. I have my pepper that I'm using. I have red pepper, two big red pepper. I have tomatoes inside and I have habanero pepper or you can call it fresh pepper. So these are the ingredients that we are using for this recipe. First of all, I'm going to start cooking my protein. I will start with the protein. I will be cooking my protein and as my protein is cooking, we are just going to go ahead and blend my pepper then i will steam it before we start before we can before we start with the main cooking hello now we are going to start cooking with our meat so i will just be adding my goat meat inside my pot i will be adding my chicken i swear i'm taking my chicken in in here so I will be adding my shaki my shaki is going in I'm going to cook them together so it's later I'll just add my my cow tea I'm going to add this later not now so I will just add salt now to my protein I'm going to add some salt so and I'm going to add all my minced spices. I'm going to add them. So I'm just going to add them now. And I will just turn them. I will turn. I will just tear it a little bit before I will add my water to the pot. So I will tell and I'm going to add. I have three seasoning cube. I'm going to add two. I'm adding two to it now. So I will just, I'm going to on my gas now. So I will just on it. Now I'm going to add water to my protein. I'm going to add water now. So guys, I'm just going to add water now. I will just add water to it. I will just, I'm going to stir it again. Let me stir it. So we are going to give this our protein 20 minutes to cook. 15 to 20 minutes to cook. I'm going to cook it very well because I like eating soft meat. So not the harder one. So I'm going to give my meat 20 minutes to cook. And as I have said before, I will just grab my pepper now and blend and I steam it. Before the meat cook, that one will be ready also. So later we can continue, my people. Hello. I think now we should check what we are making. We should check our protein. 
yes this is all about our protein you see our protein but it's not cooked yet it's half done now it's not cooked yet to my taste it's half done now so what i'm doing now i'm going to be adding my cow tea to it now i'm going to be adding my cow tea after adding my cow tea i'm still going to give five minutes to cook as you can see my tomatoes is on fire already my pepper is on fire it's cooking here so i hope you've seen it guys so we are going to cover it up we are giving five minutes again to cook we are coming back soon hello we are back again. I think we should check our protein. Yes. Oh, yes. Our protein is properly cooked now. It's properly cooked. So we are taking it out from the fire. I'm going to change my pots. I think this pot is not going to be enough for me. So I will be changing my pot now. Sorry, guys. I, will just, I hope you are seeing my tomatoes inside my fire in, in the fire already it's still on fire so i will just change my pot i will just change it now i will allow it to dry off so. our pot is already dried so i'm going to be adding my my oil now I'm just adding a little bit of oil to this pot because my chicken has oil also. So, so I'm just going straight to the cooking. Don't say that I did not fry my meat. And whenever, whenever I'm cooking, I hardly fry my protein. I don't normally fry my protein, but if you are making this recipe, you feel like frying your protein, you can do that. But for mine, I don't normally fry my protein. I hardly do that once in a while. Even when I'm making jello fries or fried rice, after cooking my meat, I just transfer them to the oven. So I toast them there. So, I'll just add a little bit of salt now. My oil is hot. So I'll add my shop on it. So I'll, just, I'll just allow it to fry. So my onions is fried. Next now we'll be adding my tomato paste. I'll add my tomato paste now. Stir it. So I'll just stir it now. So I think we are still going to give tomato paste five minutes to cook. So we are going to give five minutes to our tomato paste to cook after cooking then we can transfer our steam pepper to it so we should give some time four to five minutes all right we should check out uh, yeah we are okay with our tomato paste so I will just add my left seasoning cubes now in. I will add my ginger and garlic. So I will just stir it. I will stir it. So I, I, I hope you are seeing my pepper here already. The mixed pepper that I blend together. I hope you've seen it in here. It's still on fire. So I will just transfer it now into my pot. So. Wow, it's yummy, yummy. 
wow so I just transferred now I'm coming to stir it now so I'll just stir it You see my tomatoes is inside already. Everything is mixed together now. Already, what we are going to do now? We are not adding any water to this sauce now. We don't need water. The only water we are going to add later is our meat stock. So that is the only water that we are going to add. So I'm just going to give these tomatoes five minutes because it's cooked already. So we should give five minutes to cook. Hello, we are almost through with our stew, so our stew is ready, next now I should be adding my meat stock, my meat stock should go in, so I'm just going to I'm just going to stir it now, so We still need some salt. We still need some salt. So I should be adding some salt. All right. Let's cover it now to properly cook. Hello, we are almost, yeah, you see my stew, you see how it's bubbling, so we are almost at the end of this recipe, next I will be adding my protein, wow, I will add next, so I'm just going to turn it now, I will be turning my protein, you see how my stew look like? This too. Now, wow. Look at Osas Nigeria stew. It's very delicious. I hope you see what I'm just making now. I hope you are seeing it, guys. I hope you see the color of my stew. I hope you are seeing it. Mm. So yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. So nice. And the color is so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful and lovely. So, if you are interested in eating, you can call my people. We are not the stingy type. So, as you are watching my video, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel before, as you are watching, subscribe, like, leave your comment, and share it also. So those that have done that before by hitting the subscribing button, I so much appreciate you guys. Thank you very much, my people. Just look at my stew. Our delicious stew. Just look at. So yummy, yummy, yummy. So nice, nice. So lovely. This is the end of this recipe. Thank you very much as you are watching. I love you all my people. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yes. That is all about our stew. Thank you very much my people. I really appreciate you all. Bye-bye.